I'm Toby Tyler for the H Team. Today I'd like to show you how to check your fluids. Uh, we'll start with the engine oil. Basically, you do it with the engine shut off. You pull the dipstick, which on the Toyota usually is yellow. You wipe the oil off the bottom, put it back down in, pull it back out, and check your oil. The oil should be between these two marks, this one being the high mark, that being the low mark, should be somewhere in between. Okay, next we'll move over to the engine coolant. I strongly recommend you don't pull a radiator cap. Uh, if you do feel that you need to, make sure that the engine is cold and has been sitting for quite a long time because the pressure can spray back and it can be very hot. The best way to check your coolant is through the coolant reservoir, which is this plastic jug that's right beside the radiator. It has a low and a high mark on the side of it. And this is your high mark, full mark, and this is the low mark down here. Next, we'll move over to your windshield wash, which can, which can be checked at any time. The best way to do it is just to fill the jug. Uh, it's right here, it says washer fluid and has a picture of a windshield. You basically just pop it open and pour your windshield fluid right in there. Uh, next, we'll move over to the power steering fluid, <clears throat> which is this jug right over here. Again, it says power steering fluid right on the cap. This is like the coolant jug in that it has a uh, low mark and a high mark, min and max. Uh, the fluid, depending on the temperature, uh, should be somewhere in between those two marks. Your brake fluid is over here. That also has a low and a high mark. Uh, the fluid should be in between those two. I don't recommend adding fluid to it. Uh, basically, the amount of fluid that's in there is metered and it will decrease in level as your brake pads get thinner. So when it gets down to the low mark, a warning light will come on on your dash, and that basically means that the fluid's at the low mark and you should bring your vehicle in and, and have the uh, brakes checked because the pads or the shoes may be worn down enough so they need to be replaced. So in that respect, I don't think you should add any fluid to it. The last thing to check is the automatic transmission fluid. If you have, some models have a uh, dipstick and some don't, but if you have one, it's an orange stick right over here. That needs to be checked with the engine running. And so I'll go ahead and start the vehicle. The engine should be at operating temperature. You pull it out, wipe it off like you do the engine oil. Put it back down in, all the way. And that should be between the low mark here and the high mark here. When the transmission is cold, the fluid will be down at your low mark. When it's hot, it'll be up in your high mark. So somewhere in between these two marks, depending on the temperature. It should really be checked warm. that's basically it. I would think it's a good idea to check monthly, uh, pop your hood, take a look at your fluid levels. That way you can see if one seems to be low and you're not really sure why, you can always give us a call. We can uh, tell you what to do from there, but you can always stop it and we'll check your fluids for you. Hybrid's a little different. Uh, hybrid has two separate reservoirs to fill coolant. Uh, one of them is for the transmission and one is for the engine. Uh, basically, it's just an extra reservoir that looks a little like your brake fluid reservoir uh, that has coolant in it also. So it's just one more thing that you'll have to check. Is the Highlander going to get a top off too? Or? <laughs> oh, that's what this is all about. <laughs> sure. I can do I mean, that for you. My van is out there too. <laughs>